Hello and welcome to the European Piano Technique Mastery Course. Today I would like to talk about the mechanics of our hand and particularly about the mechanics of the fingers, how they are moved and particularly by what muscles they are moved. It's quite important to understand when you are practicing. You don't have to think too much about it, but just it's important to know what you are trying to achieve in terms of what parts of hand you trying to develop by which exercises, by which particular maybe parts of the piece or anything that you play. So it's important to know how they work overall. So if you look at the fingers you will see that they are quite complex limbs and they have many muscles moving them and when you move them you always engage a lot of little muscles around your palm areas around like here the top of the palm like under the palm and under the hand as well and all over the forearms here so when you look at the fingers closer you can see that every finger has three little joints first little joint with the nail then middle joint and the other joint which is closest to the knuckle so what I wanted to point out today is when you using the just or moving the just the tips of the fingers like that you will activate the muscles that are located under and above the forearms like here so that's the muscles that are responsible for movement of the tips of the fingers like that then when you make the fingers flat and move them in a flat way like that so you only move in those joints that are closest to the knuckles so you're pretty much moving only those and the tips are flat this way so these joints are activated by the muscles that are located like here under your palm around here and above here as well on the top part they're very tiny if you're interested more in this topic you can google it up and just put something like anatomy of human hand and then you will see all the little muscles again you don't have to think too much about it when you practice but sometimes you need to know what weaknesses you have and what you need to develop in terms of achieving your ultimate goals with your technique because sometimes you will practice and you will have some weaknesses but you will not even realize why those weaknesses are present because you don't know what muscles are weak and a lot of times I've asked a lot of students and I just ask them why do you think if you move these fingers you know like why do you think this muscle work or those muscles work I mean those muscles work so they didn't know actually what muscles move which parts at all so they just practiced blindly and they just guessed what helped them or what didn't help them and I don't like it that much I like to explain everything in detail so that students know exactly what they work for what weaknesses they target in in their technique or in their pieces so that they can find the best possible shortcut to develop that particular passage or particular you know part of the repertoire that requires like a good practice there and good improvement so that's why I think it's very important to know this little principle so just again to recap when we move in the tips like that just the very tips of the fingers there that's achieved by muscles under the forearms here and above and when we move in fingers in a flat way like that without moving the tips at all so we just move in basically those knuckles here but because the other parts are attached to those you know knuckle bits other parts of the fingers are attached to them that's why they also move along because they are completely idle when we move in this bit so when we move in fingers in a flat way it is achieved by the muscles under and above the palm here so just it's a little video about little mechanics of the hands to just make you understand how they work later on we will do many different exercises that they will that will target 
different muscle groups that's important to you know achieve balanced piano technique so some will target the palm areas some will target the forearms better so you will practice them and you will see how your hands will respond and how you will feel after you know developing those groups individually or sometimes together pretty much all exercises they cover both groups but they put more emphasis on one like particularly on the palm for example if you do the tips exercises and then the target of course you know the i mean when you do tips you will target the under forearm groups so you always have different balances there you know when you go in for some particular weakness and then you always will see also eventually what are your particular weaknesses eventually you'll find them and you will be able to you know develop them on demand so to speak so in one piece if you play something you will see that if some passage doesn't come out well you will know what exactly to practice and how to practice but this just helps to realize what could be the weakness so again it's not necessary to think too much or overthink you know what muscles are moving or what i'm doing like by which muscles it's not necessary at all it's better not to think about it at all it's just important to play eventually and just be completely in, in the process of playing but in terms of fixing the problems it's important to know and i think it's important to know for everyone because as long as we are taking this instrument seriously and you know trying to achieve some progress in our technique we need to know the mechanics it's like just the physiology of the hand i think it's really it's really important thing to know so i hope this will help you later on when you're doing your exercises to realize what weaknesses you have and how to target them how to develop them in a better way okay that will be all for this video i will see you next time bye bye for now